all in this video today we are going to discuss the concept of explicit intent so we have a concept that is intent so this is intent class so this intent is going to define which action to be performed so intent we are using for the purpose of mainly to launch the activities in our application and to launch the applications already installed in the mobile so that so mainly primary intents are two types one is explicit intent another one is implicit intent so here inside the application if you want to call other activities we are using the intent so that intent we call as explicit intent and from our application if you want to open other application so that there we are going to use the intent that intent we call as a implicit intent we use the intent class only but based on the usage we are calling that one as a explicit intent or implicit intent now in this example we are going to use the explicit intent that means navigating from one activity to another activity so let me create a project calling explicit intent or navigation so for the navigation minimum we need to have a two activities so already we have defaultly main activity so let me create a new activity so click on the package in the android should also same story you click on the package right click and you can select the option called activity creating new activity so here we are going to select other android like that you have an options in android studio also android activity next empty activity and the activity name we are giving as another activity let me finish the uh, activity now. so if you are creating this activity automatically the activity is going to register in the manifest file you will see remember what are the activities you are executing in your application those all activities should be registered in the manifest file so in the in this way you are creating the activity so that activity is all automatically registering in the manifest file but if you are creating manually that means creating xml file creating java class there you are calling the xml file so you need to register them in the manifest file now already registered so you need not to bother about the manifest file now we'll come to the main activity main activity xml file so to navigate another activity we need to have at least one requirement so that i am creating the button whenever i am click the button then we are going to navigate to another activity so i am uh, giving the text is open another activity and the id just i am saying that open fine now we'll go to the main activity the main activity we need to write a action for the button so button and uh, open button equal to button and uh, find you by id or dot id dot right we need to save first of all then button dot open button underscore open now open button even handling set on click listener of new on click listener and import the package now here we need to write a explicit intent program that means intent program to open another activity so first you should create an intent class intent class object intent in equal to new intent so here we need to choose the constructor which is having two parameters one is context and second one is a class so context in the sense we know we are passing the value of the context so that uh, the get application context method is going to return the context <coughs> and the second parameter is which activity you want to launch so that activity name you need to pass that means the java name you need to pass java class name you need to pass with the dot class extension so here we want to open another activity so another activity name dot you need to pass the extension called class now you need to execute this intent using the method called start activity and pass the intent object there so that's it so this is the two lines we are using to open any other activity so this is the example of explicit intent let me execute the example so so we will do one thing in another activity xml file will keep on user interface just for message purpose saying that uh, this is click on f2 
and this is uh, saying this is another activity okay fine save it now let me execute the application you will see application executed if you click this button it is going to open another activity see this is another activity thank you for watching this video tutorial if you like my videos you can subscribe my channel by clicking below subscribe button and uh, source code will be available there itself i am going in the link for the source code and you can visit my blog called ramsandredforall.blogspot.in thank you for watching we will meet in the next video tutorial